Hey everyone and uh, welcome back to Cutting Through Conversations that go beyond the plate. Uh, today we're looking at an ingredient actually that has caught uh, global attention. It's something that is very, very traditional uh, that has been used in India for centuries. It's something that uh, you will find a lot in uh, growing in, in backyards. It's not, it's not something that's cultivated so much as in it's just a tree that is planted and you know the fruits are collected uh, when, when they come in uh, yeah, when they're ripe and I've got uh, Sairaj uh, right. hello hi there we have Sairaj hey Sairaj how are you doing good can you hear me good Yes, very clearly. Super. So, as I was saying, uh, raw jackfruit, it's been uh, something that we've been using in India for, for centuries. And it suddenly caught uh, the global eye uh, in the last few years. Uh, Sairaj has just launched a company called Waka Foods. And they're looking at processing uh, raw jackfruit and putting out raw jackfruit products in the, in the retail market. So, uh, Sairaj, let's just start with looking at uh, jackfruit and how it's been part of uh, Indian cuisine, of Indian culture for a very long time. I know it's very common uh, right throughout the West Coast. I mean, right from Maharashtra up to Kerala, uh, everyone's been uh, cooking it. So, uh, tell me a little bit more about what you have found out about uh, jackfruit. Uh, so, uh, thanks, uh, Antoine, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, nice to be amongst all of you all. Uh, I'll just I'll just correct you before we go ahead. Uh, we are not only starting a retail ra range, but we are going deep into industrial uh, industrial and the Horeca range as well. So we want okay. every Indian to taste jackfruit, you know. So we're going all out. Uh, so okay. yeah. So as far as the Indian uh, Indian ethos of jackfruit goes, it goes a long, long way back. I still remember my my grandmom calling it uh, chikanachi bhaji. So we used to call it, you know, chicken ka bhaji. So mm -hmm. what I, what you know in my research what I found was that jackfruit has been eaten in different regions of India in different different for different purposes and in different ways. So for example, okay. like like you said, uh, uh, katal ki sabzi or katal ki biryani is one of the most right. common common uses of jackfruit. You know in the north. So we know that uh, jackfruit is grown basically mainly in the Konkan Belt. So hmm. right from Goa, Karnataka, not much, but uh, Goa, uh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, it's massive, the jackfruit growth. But it's eaten all over India. So in the north, it is to okay. be eaten as kajal ki bhaji, kajal ki biryani. In Bengal, it's eaten as a sweet dish also. Is made out of really? jackfruit, ripe jackfruit. Okay. Yeah, ripe jackfruit, the lovely sweet dishes which are made out of it. Ripe jackfruit, no, no, but we are talking ripe. about raw jackfruit. No, I'm just giving you the different types of jackfruit uses, you know, which are, okay. which have been done. So elsewhere, in some places, jackfruit is used purely like carbohydrates. Right. Hmm. Even in Kerala, jackfruit is used as a substitute for rice and chapatis and rotis. Okay. A lot of places. Okay. Then jackfruit, again, in different other parts, even raw jackfruit is used for its seed. The seed right. is high in protein. And hmm. it has been proved and there have been a lot of researches and papers which have been done which prove that jackfruit reduces, the seed reduces uh, diabetes. It cures a lot of, it's, it helps in curing cancer. So jackfruit has numerous benefits. And from times immemorial, it's been eaten in India. But the only thing about jackfruit is the reason it never gained mass popularity or like any of the other fruits is because of two reasons. One okay. is that it's a seasonal fruit. It comes mm -hmm. in patches, which again isn't ho the whole truth, you know, I, as we go on, I'll explain to you how and why. And the second reason is that it's very tiresome in cleaning a jackfruit. Like yes. if you get a jackfruit yeah. to try and cut and get it clean and to eat it, it takes almost two hours. So that's another reason people used to avoid it. But yeah. our ancestors always said that if you eat a jackfruit for breakfast, lunch and dinner, it would still give you okay. a wholesome meal. It would be a wholesome meal with all the nutrients that you would require. Okay, yeah. so Sairaj, you're essentially from Goa. So tell me, uh, right. are there a lot of Goan uh, raw jackfruit? Let's focus on the raw jackfruit part yeah. of it now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are there a lot of uh, Goan raw uh, jackfruit preparations? 
Uh, so in go yes a lot of them a lot of them my mother makes a lovely my mother in law in fact makes a lovely bhaji so you know in goa okay. and even traditionally jackfruit is always used as a bhaji as a sabzi you know we've Achha. never we've never looked as a jackfruit although we always had it at the back of our mind and we always knew that its meaty texture was always more towards the chicken part because uh, mm-hmm. chicken or pork part you know and we used to try and garb it for children and say ki ye chicken ka bhaji but we always knew right. that and always our mind was trained to say that this is a vegetable it's a bhaji mm-hmm. so we used to prepare a lot of lovely tasty vegetables bhajis preparations and i also had for the first time when i had a jackfruit in my like as a kid we've always been cheated into eating it also but uh, okay. uh, as an adult the first time i had a lovely preparation of jackfruit was a jackfruit biryani it okay. was amazing you could probably it was very difficult you know after eating and eating and then you realize that this is not not the same thing you know this is something else that's when we we checked the this and we realized that it was a jackfruit biryani but uh, yes okay. in goa there have always been some lovely preparations which have been made of jackfruit but uh, the only thing now the difference is that uh, now the meatiness and that whole texture of jackfruit is is taking a whole different meaning and now right, people right, are really right. realizing that this can be an amazing substitute right so right as uh, who's this uh, satrangi has uh, pointed out uh, in yes. in bengal it's called ganch ganch pata which is exactly the same thing as what what you were saying the yeah. uh, the mutton Uh, the veg, mutton, veg, mutton, you know, correct, mutton. Correct. So the same thing that is, is in, uh, on the coast. Now you were saying that it is not necessarily that it's seasonal; that is actually available through the year. So could you just elaborate yes. a little bit more about that? So, so you know, during so we as a company we are providing jackfruit throughout the year. That's because okay. one main reason is that we've actually mapped the entire region of jackfruit and where it is grown, and we are procuring from different places at different times of the year. So, okay so even during the off season we are still procuring jackfruit from a few corners of kerala and tamil nadu the borders in certain places you still get jackfruit during during the unseasonal part but they are again they are deep into the villages the cost is double the amount so even now so i am right now in kerala so our process okay. so we have a factory in kerala where we are making it also so i keep traveling here this is become my second home now and i am in <laughs> kerala right now where we are uh, manufacturing today in fact one but i came running here just reached 5 minutes back okay okay i think we just sorry i'm back so yeah yeah so what i was saying was so now the batch which we bought right now is unseasonal so it's double the rate of your normal normal uh, jackfruit that we would get at, during the season so these okay. are these so are so just to clarify uh, yeah. sorry just to clarify uh, raw jackfruit season would be somewhere around uh, february march and ripe correct. would be april may okay correct 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 so you know it goes on so the last 3 or 4 months right? uh, uh, so you say september so october november december this 3 months and january are the four months where we have to really struggle for it till then okay. we still we can still uh, trace it and get it easily but uh, the last three, four months is a little it's a little struggle because the cost go up we have to really tap into the interiors of uh, tamil nadu kerala and uh, tie up so one of the important things how we have done this whole procurement thing is by t- uh, tying up with farming clusters and uh, okay that's how we are and so you know this can happen only when you get the gain the trust of the farmers so we've tried to do right. that and uh, we we also run an initiative which is called the friend wakao friends of farmers initiative where we have pledged to donate 1% of our sales revenue to farming welfare so that's how okay. we're trying to get the best out of it okay so someone here says there is a kind of jackfruit in tamil nadu called kari pala which is specifically used as a vegetable it's more tastier than the regular one maybe that's something that you could kind of look at when uh, you get a little bit more and your your processing uh, increases mm. but uh, let's look at uh, jackfruit now on 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 the global scene and what we're actually looking at so is not so much as of it as a vegetable but yeah. really as a meat substitute and you know as something that gives you the taste and the feel not so much the taste but the texture of meat gotcha. without actually being meat so uh why jackfruit is there any other vegetable or any other fruits that would not have done it 
so you know the, a lot of vegetables a lot of fruits have been explored with people have tried different things uh, world over uh, why jackfruit for two main reasons one is its meaty texture so when you have right. jackfruit you realize that this is very close to the real deal so one question that hmm. is very is repeatedly asked uh, which i also get asked again and again is how close is it to the real deal they call it the real deal right so right so my answer is that this is the closest a fruit can get to the real deal okay <laughs> because there are a lot of other things which i have which have been tried to which we try to mask and try and say that this is mock meat everyone is welcome it's good so you have soya chunks you have uh, you have a lot of other things which are there so there are a lot of things which are also uh, chemically made like in the lab which are made in the lab right. which are not natural fruits so why sure. this again is because it is the whole fruit itself mm-hmm. it has there is nothing which is injected in it no preservatives there's nothing so when i say we are selling our raw jack so we have a flavor called raw jack this this product goes into all your horeca segment into all the hotels restaurants and all and we also sell it to the domestic to our retail market it is pure raw jackfruit with pure water nothing else okay no preservatives so even when our flavors we have five or total of five flavors out of its four one is a patty one is a raw jack and the other three are favors teriyaki barbecue okay. patty jack they are just your normal gravies along with raw jack it's a simple thing it's not very complicated it's not some um some rocket science kind of procedure and uh, technology that we are doing it's a simple right thing. right so so right they are basics which are healthy which are nutritional and yet very easy to eat so it okay. we, we know that the, even the customer clientele that's why that's why a jackfruit is much more easier easier to be accepted by the customers because they know what they eating so today for everyone to know what is on their plate is very important if 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 sure. they are confused or they are not sure of what they are going to eat or what's in it you can call it vegan you can call it amazing you can call it this and you can call it that but if they are not very clear in their mind they don't have clear clarity over what they are eating they are always going to be confused and they are going to be scared because so now jackfruit what happens is people have already eaten it also and people know what it is also only thing what we are doing is you can even have jackfruit now you can go in the market get the jackfruit cut and eat it but what we do is save your 2 hours give you a one year shelf life and we give it give you a product which need not be refrigerated that's the r and d we are doing without preservatives so that's why oh. i think jackfruit is a more accepted uh, uh, more accepted kind of mock meat than the others Yeah. Okay. You know, so one one of the questions that uh, normally comes up with uh, meat substitutes or or facsimile meat is that, well, India itself is not a huge meat eating uh, country. It's uh, unlike the West, where you know the the meat is the primary uh, is is the primary part of of the diet, and you know vegetables are less important. In India, it's vegetables and you know cereals and pulses that are more important. So, is there really scope? for uh, some for a meat substitute in a country like india so i'll tell i'll tell you one thing <clears throat> when i when i was going to come up with this product also or when i wanted to make something in the food industry something that was related to food there was one thought very clear in my mind uh, right i wanted to create a product that could be eaten by any living being on planet earth simple period okay i wanted to make a product which did not have any moral restrictions any religious restrictions on anybody while consuming my product you could have dietary restrictions you could be allergic to something but there hmm. shouldn't be hmm. any other religion, uh, restriction which says that no i cannot eat this product so that keeping that in mind i realized that india is a big market so you know we we say that india is a less uh, chicken eating or non veg eating uh, country as compared to the world but what's the population what's the population of the other countries in the world it's it's minuscule so if you even compare hmm. us to any country in europe it's it's just tiny are are a fraction of our population is a part of the whole it makes up for the whole population so you know Correct. in india have diverse people and i have or we have a product that can satisfy the needs of this diverse country hmm. so i have i have a product which goes amazingly well well with vegans firstly a vegan would always sure. want to try something new we we are we made a product for them basically it's they are it's to give them because they are doing so much to to restrict their dietary things and we want to give them another choice okay one yeah we want to help non vegetarians 
who are fed up of non veg non veg and who are looking at options to moving into veganism or want to turn vegetarian who want that same taste of what they've always been eating or want something different or have a veg sure. they want to eat on that veg day they're giving them an option and now as far as our vegetarian brothers and sisters for them we are see today we are calling it a meat substitute but at the end right. of the day it's a fruit it's another flavor for them for sure a large part of our country the vegetarian population has sometime in their life eaten a jackfruit if not possibly yeah now if hmm. they'll try a new fruit now so even in our goan weddings for example we have a veg- for a hindu goan weddings they are always vegetarian i know of so right. many friends who will not even enter that wedding like wait for the lunch time because they can't eat veg you know it's a fact but now at that yeah. same wedding if i can provide a jackfruit biryani which mm. tastes amazingly well it tastes as good as it's on par almost on par with your chicken biryani or mutton biryani then you right, would still, right. you would still be helping a huge population and i'm sure the vegetarians in that party also would love to have that vegetarian biryani and it's all about yeah, the taste yeah. at the end of the day it's all about liking a particular taste and taking to it and understanding that this is a part this is in in line with your beliefs if that happens sure. then i think the whole of india is our is our customer base it's not okay. that india is a small part of we have in the whole of india according to me has something for vaka has something for them for the entire of indian population well fair enough because i think i'm one of those people who won't step into a vegetarian banquet or a vegetarian buffet so uh, <laughs> this might seem like something uh, enticing for for me as as well but uh, tell me so are you actually doing a jack biryani or is it just uh, you're supplying the the raw material and then the the chef or the, the caterer will will prepare the actual biryani no so what we are doing is we are not making any of these things we are only making five products so okay for so so like i said in the straight in the start we are also supplying looking at supplying and we have already started supplying but a big part of our market base is the industrial market so that includes sure. the hotels restaurants caterers cafes cloud kitchens airline kitchen so there is a huge market there so what we do is we supply them the raw meat it's like supplying chicken or mutton or any other we are supplying them jackfruit meat so then they okay. make the products out of it as they normally make with any other meat they make another okay. product so so like we we now supplied to the taj group so we are trying to go with them we have we are in talks with them so they are also looking at this as a great option so they say when the next wedding happens we will we will offer we could offer them a jackfruit biryani instead of a vegetarian biryani so, right you know, right it's, it's a okay. value add to everyone so my whole aim is also another very important uh, aim that i have is to have every restaurant in india to have a vegan menu on their normal menu so you know we have veg okay. non veg starter vegetarian whatever palana palan hmm. let's have a vegan menu you have four products okay but have a vegan menu so when a vegan enters a restaurant he also feels accepted he need not run and search mm-hmm. for only vegan restaurants everywhere or in every restaurant try and customize his dish he can have something which sure. is for him so that is the idea yeah. in a small way okay. but in a certain way okay so i think that is happening to a large extent we're seeing a lot more uh, vegan food coming onto menus uh, across restaurants at various price points in hotels and uh, in stand alone uh, restaurants yeah. um but uh, what i was wanted to say is that uh, the products that you have are largely either shredded uh, jackfruit or jackfruit in a kind of a a, a mince form right and uh, what for the retail market correct no, but what you are supplying yeah, you to I'll, I'll the, explain to you but what you are supplying to horeca and if if you are talking about uh, uh, biryanis that means those are chunks so, so i think there was is- oh, sorry just one there was also a question right earlier on which asked if you are doing nuggets like soy so if you could possibly include that in your answer as well okay no so i'll explain so for the three flavors that we are doing they are like uh, they are like shredded shredded uh, uh, jackfruit okay it's not minced it's shredded shredded for the yes. patty for the patty again it's shredded it's not minced but shredded oh. a little further but it's not minced so you'll still feel a texture of uh, meatiness in the patty when you okay. when you when you fry it or you uh, grill it and in the raw jack that we have we are keeping it more in the form of chunks so it's okay. not completely shredded and it's not completely like hard chunks it's somewhere in the middle 
so it can definitely be molded the way you want to make it okay so even even when you make a biryani out of it it's more like a boneless biryani it's more like a boneless right. shredded kind of biryani it's not like okay. your chicken chunks there will be okay. bo- shredded because you know uh, if you have a whole chunk chunk then the again that texture is a little different it it's when it's shredded and it's a little softer that's when you get the right texture okay okay and all of these are without seed right without seed so even if you find a seed somewhere in the middle it's it's very chewable they are like very soft They're okay very okay. premature stage okay and so are you doing anything except two months they cut at two months two months okay and the ripeness happens after four how many months half, four and a half five months is a fully ripe jackfruit okay okay yeah. and are you doing anything with the seeds separately at all or i mean you don't find not the seeds yet. right now we don't even need the seeds go into it only like the seeds are either not uh, grown enough or they are very soft but in the okay. future we are looking we have already the r and d is on and uh, the seeds have great possibilities so we are looking at some amazing possibilities with the seeds in fact we were going to start something but i'll keep that for another day uh, and okay. we, we 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 are seriously looking into the seeds because they have some great possibilities it's nutritionally very high okay okay so is there a huge i mean i i know that there is a huge export market uh, already but is that something that uh, you have tapped into already or something that you're looking to in the future yes so the export market is something that is gigantic that's gigantic for any product and more so for this kind of a product so uh, when i when we started off and uh, we've been doing our research for the almost a year now we are in the game but we launched around 3 weeks ago 3 3 4 weeks ago uh, right i have i have been uh, i've seen a barrage of uh, requests and uh, interest coming in and i and i'm very happy that it's happening because uh, we need to try and reach the world so my motto is always to take this fruit which is grown in my backyard to the world so that's been mm. my motto with jackfruit and with wakao so we've already been we've already in talks we've sent a few samples to netherlands we've sent so we are in talks with um, someone from the uk us canada so there there is demand there is demand and uh, we we are trying to fill the gaps you know what has happened is thailand and vietnam and all have grown way ahead of us although we are the natural producers of jackfruit india right. grows the highest amount of jackfruit in the world globally and really yeah and these guys aped us and they are now growing artificially grown jackfruit trees and they okay. are and you know how fast they grow so these guys they have gone in like and they've captured a huge market share in the world and uh, indians are now waking up to it and in the over the last one one and a half year people have realized that boss we have this growing in right here in our backyard and we are just sitting on it and uh, people are taking notice now and uh, i think okay. yeah we, we are moving fast towards in that direction to bridge that gap you know and to reach out okay. to these guys uh, are there since i mean uh, since globally they are becoming more familiar with uh, with the jackfruit though i don't know how much how aware they are o- o- of it though it's clearly the vegan market that is driving it uh, are there any kind of specifications you are finding that or any requirements that uh the global market is asking of you of your product not not really but some countries each country has their own requirements so each country have a different set of requirements which are which are easily easily compliable it's if you are if you are working in a ethical way if you have all your safety standards in place so things like child labor should not be done then you need to have your fssai certificates your fda regulations in place um you need to have the basic hygiene your test reports need to be there so there are basic things but few countries okay. need some other things which are there, which have to be written no i am talking way. more about uh, i'm talking more about the the product itself the the jackfruit ha, ha, uh, okay. is there something in terms of do so they yeah, wanted pre shred i'll i'll give you hmm. an example so uh, just today i was uh, speaking to my partner in uh, in the uk who was who's, who we are looking at doing business with so he had some other questions other things to ask he he was very curious if we could do some new flavors which would suit okay. their market type so something like a peri peri something uh, right. like a teriyaki burger so so a lot of new things which are coming in and uh, okay. like you said yes every market has their own demand every market has their own uh, customization 
and luckily for us we can customize to the team we can do anything that they want so we have already given him a green signal we said you send me a detailed list of what you need and we will right, definitely right. do our r and d and get back to you before sending okay. the samples okay you know so uh, as i was mentioning in one of our conversations to you that uh, i've met someone from singapore who was doing a tinned raw jackfruit for mm. instance uh do you see the jackfruit being available in various formats uh, internationally or do you see that it's more or less the same thing that is being done so jackfruit is available in more or less the same thing so you either say it's a tinned uh, packing or it's a plastic packing like the ones we do so okay it it cannot be in in too many other different ways but there is another thing called as a, a dry freezing process also in which okay. the blast dried to a very high temperature and they are they almost and they are vacuum packed so they are almost like fried uh, jackfruits after it's opened you need to put it in hot water for around 30 minute and then they become normal and then you can cook okay 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 so that's the process that was being practiced but now we've gone a step ahead and we simplified that process as well but uh, now even okay. the ones in the tins are almost the same process as what we do which is called okay. retorting and right. um, yeah so but uh, either you have raw jackfruit you have ripe jackfruit and uh, you have a jackfruit pulp these are jackfruit your three pulp. things yeah there is a pulp also which comes and it's used mainly till now we've not we also doing our r&d in it in the pulp but uh, okay. we've not yet reached uh, a mark where we can say bulls are you know it's right now being used in ice creams and all as your pulp on top but uh, a drinkable kind of a pulp like a mango pulp it's not yet uh, right. not yet come out in a great shape we are not yet convinced with the product but that's something but that's that would be it's, it's a beautiful but that would be for ripe jackfruit ripe one ripe ripe okay ripe. okay okay but and what raw, about uh, are the only thing only thing yeah you know asia has had a uh, a very long history again of mock meats you know yeah. uh, of soy based uh, uh, mock meats yeah. i mean far older than india and the west do you find that there is an interest there also for uh, jackfruit or are they more comfortable with their soy based products so you you're talking about asia no the asian countries i'm talking about asia yeah so you know what the asian countries are the biggest manufacturers also of jackfruit so they have already they are already exposed to it so like thailand is one of the biggest manufacturers thailand right. and uh, vietnam india we all asian countries only which are already big manufacturers and what has happened like a ch- country like china now china anyway they don't i don't think they, they eat all kind of reptiles and insects and animals so mock meat isn't a big fascination in a place like china as yet but in the future it could always change you know and but yeah. mock meat is already there and available asia is already flooded with these mock meats and um, okay. no but the yeah. mock meats in asia and i uh, yeah. if you look at what korea and uh, uh, taiwan and uh, vietnam are producing yeah. the quality of the soy based mock meat uh, mm. is is almost indis- uh, indistinguishable from a lot of seafood and a lot of chicken correct, so correct. Uh, and it's a very high quality so i'm just wondering whether yeah. i was just curious rather whether they are also looking at uh, jackfruit as well or whether they're just so comfortable honestly, with soy honestly we we have not seen too much demand from them right now okay towards this sector because i feel that if they have a demand it would be in their own country they will have manufacturers who can who can satisfy their demand you know and who can serve, service right. it right right so for indians to be called upon to supply to uh, the asian countries is a little difficult the europeans and the west will be more interested in taking from us because we could be cheaper than all these guys compared Or okay okay we have cheap labor we have it available here we don't need to manufacture it it's all naturally grown here so that's why right. we are much more we could be much more cheaper than them although they have uh, labor of scales they have they have more mass production happening but um, we could still compete and be a better product a more quality product as compared to them. okay you know what one of the big uh, concerns with any of these uh, new products which kind of suddenly find international exposure and find an international market and we've seen that uh, a lot with quinoa uh, for instance is that the minute it goes onto the global market uh, access in local markets uh, immediately drops uh, prices shoot up and it becomes unaffordable so is there a fear of that happening with jackfruit as well and is there any steps taken to make sure that 
local supply is not uh, affected yeah so what happens you know with jackfruit why jackfruit is so different from any of these other things is that jackfruit is grown in such large quantities here and jackfruit no one wants only here jackfruit is an ignored fruit in india so as well much quinoa as was supply, ignored quinoa yeah. was ignored until it became a global thing quinoa, but quinoa doesn't have that kind of mass production in india like mm. jackfruit is grown at every corner in india in south india jackfruit is all over it's just that it's seasonal and during a certain phase it's little lesser and it's very difficult to get but in its full glory it is it is everywhere people find it hard to get rid of them at times so really? i don't yeah so i personally feel that uh, we could never have a shortage of jackfruit hopefully if we have a shortage of jackfruit that means we are all making billions of money billions of rupees everywhere but uh, as much as we supply uh, to the export market in india we need to understand one thing the indian market is still growing in the okay. west we have an established market we don't need to sell our product there we are already sold the jackfruit product is sold in most of the western markets in india right. we are still trying to educate and sell ourselves and tell them that this is another product a nice alternative a mock meat a nutritional product so we are trying to sell it to the indians the western western guys have already been sold to it now in india our market share is very less as compared to the other meats as compared to the other products that are going so okay. till we reach a time where we have a substantial market share a substantial say it will still take a lot of time to reach there and i am pretty sure that by the time we reach there we still will have a lot of more things that will come up we'll have a better cultivation if we are really doing that well and the demand is hmm. so much for it we will definitely see more people cultivating more jackfruit also in a more systemized systematic manner right now jackfruit right. is not being cultivated in a systematic manner jackfruit right. is there all over the place there are no Correct. jackfruit orchards or jackfruit big kind of farming agencies which are there. so i foresee it's more like a backyard fruit correct so in the future hmm. i personally also see that it is real you know i have a dream of having a huge jackfruit cultivation center where we will have the massive jackfruit trees being grown an experience experiential center a manufacturing center everything in under one thing so so you never know if you see the demand coming for it if you see people really accepting it with open arms we could always do something like that that will always happen in phases great Okay, that's that's really uh, encouraging to, uh, to you, Saraj. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining uh, me this evening and kind of sharing your Pleasure insights into uh, jackfruit and you know raw jackfruit. And uh, it it seems to me that this is one of the the products that is on an upward trend. And I do foresee that in the future there will be a lot more interest and a lot more a uh, lot more products. uh based um, on raw jackfruit um in the meantime if you have any excess of ripe jackfruit please feel free to to send them to me i am very happy to eat as much jackfruit uh, as i can but right. uh looking forward to trying your your stuff and all the best uh with your your thank venture you. thank uh you. thank you everyone uh for for joining us and i will see you uh on on thursday at 6 pm for another session of cutting through So till then stay safe stay well take care guys thank you yeah.